Hi and welcome to my channel Crafty Come Lately. I'm going to share with you a haul a Tuesday morning and it's two trips at two stores in the Northwest. One was Tequila near South Center Mall and one was uh, near Commons Mall in Federal Way, previously known as SeaTac Mall. That was today. And so um, I'll share with you what I got. I haven't um, done too many hauls, although I share on my Instagram because either sometimes they're small hauls and I don't think it's even worth filming. And um, other times I'm just too busy and I want to use the stuff. Um, like I did grab the Martha Stewart the first time I was first in the door, all that good stuff. I actually grabbed a huge quantity and I'll pan it out. I have it in this cute little box right here. So that's my stash from the first time that they had the punches. And um, today and yesterday, um, actually yesterday I, pick up, I picked up all the distress stains. And today um, I picked up this craft mat because um, I want to get it off the screen so I can show you the other stuff. <clears throat> and this one is $5.99 and it's $1810742. And um, I've tried to use the um, dollar store little cutting boards, but it's just never worked out for me. So um, I finally got a real adult like um, craft mat. Um, these are some Martha Stewart. I got the butterfly little metallic looking stickers here and two of the daisies. The other one, the first one was $95. $5.99, 99 cents. My eyes are tripping out. 49 cents for the cute little daisies ones. Um, and I did pick this up on a previous trip, but um, I wanted to show uh, show someone. Um, it was two Martha Stewart embossing folders for 99 cents. I already threw away the packaging, but I could probably pull it from a receipt if somebody wants to see if their store has it. But one is like a little frame like that, and one is more background-y like that. I did also pick up the Doris. 99 cents. They had maybe six different patterns. So I picked this one up and the little bamboo background stamps. I like them, or the embossing folder. I like more background style instead of frames or anything like that. So, okay, maybe I'll hold that off till the last in case my battery runs out. Um, some little seed beads and they're more um, regular colors. So real blues and so forth reds because I was thinking maybe I can pull colors out for 4th of July. I only pulled um, the pink glitter. They had a few colors, but I really like this one. Um, Linda showed it on her flowers. Um, LP Red Flower Tutu, I think is her channel. But I really enjoy her haul. She actually shows how the punches look, how the glitter looks. She swatches the stains. So I'll actually put a link to her video because she does a much better job. I'm just trying to share the few things that I got that I think nobody else showed or maybe nobody like these. Um, they had the watercolors and um, tiny little tubes. I couldn't find yellow, but I, but I did pick up a blue. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a yellow. Sorry. Um, I couldn't find. Actually, what was I looking for? I don't know. Um, a yellow. Maybe I wanted a lighter yellow. Um, and then a red. Let's see if the things show and a cute little blue. I would have loved the cobalt blue, but that's what they had. I didn't pick up any other colors because I figured those I could make things out of. And then I did find I had something similar from the um, Cotman, but that's okay. And um, I did want to share this, the, um, these are little ATC card things or tags they could be. And that's cute little 99 cents. I didn't see anybody else showing this. This one Amy Joy showed. Um, and they're little folders for Christmas. And really super cute. Shows it on her channel if you want to check it out. And then Seven Gypsies. They had a few tags and only one pad of paper. Um, so I picked the tags and ephemera. It's kind of vintage and nice and generic. This one is um, also a little ephemera pack and it goes with Serengeti which I actually have the paper pad for that at the Mary time I actually have the paper pad somewhere either 8 by 8 or 6 by 6 and the Harmony I also have a 6 by 6 so I got it from Tuesday morning um, I did get one more punch here and I didn't really want to do it necessarily any corner but I really like this one um, it's the it's called pansy chain I should put the number here uh, Linda also picked this one up as well 
and I did find a circle cutter and they had quite a few at my store so that might be something they're restocking and I also picked up an odd light finally so maybe my videos will be better lit next time and here's that if you want to see and then I'll show the oh no one more little ephemera pack uh, this one or oh, actually it's a, a card set but I thought maybe I could use it for ephemera as well there are um, six cards six envelopes some die cuts some ribbon some stuff to put together little cards so they come with the little arrows and high little toppers for the cards and they're just a regular card size like this so super cute with the envelopes that match so I thought that was cute for $2.99 and it comes with the raffia and all that super cute stuff. So I'll show the Tim Holtz co um, colors that I got. And maybe with the SKUs. But I don't know if any of them have any more. But And um, I'll try to list it too in the description box. And I might copy. I think it's Gracie21 that shared previously. And she put the SKUs all in her description box. So if I do, I will give her credit. Because... Um, I didn't pick up all the colors. I just picked up colors and not that they had all the colors. Like if they had vintage photo, I would have totally taken it, but I really want to play with these. I only have two stains besides the vintage photo. So I definitely want to play with these. So I'll put all these numbers in the description box and hopefully there's some left or maybe they'll restock them. Who knows? So that is what I wanted to share. I'll also try to remember to put my Instagram um, so you guys can follow me there because I do take pictures when I do small hauls and share there or if I see something but I don't buy it, you know, that might be worthy for somebody. Like I saw a sewing machine that was pretty cute for $150, um, which I actually didn't post to Instagram yet, but I try to post stuff like that on there. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a good weekend and um, I'll keep watching your guys' um, videos and thank you all for sharing too that the sale came out on Thursday instead of Sunday and so forth. And also, um, it looks like they're getting away from the paper ads for the next monthly sales. It's all going to be email. And um, definitely, they want to make sure that I was signed up to my email. And I said, I never check my emails. And they said, you better because there is a coupon. And somebody did mention they got a coupon. So it's like $10 off $50 or more. So I do need to check my emails. So I thought I'd give you guys a heads up. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.